Hey everyone, Sean here, and just wanted to make this quick video uh, regarding to what I'm, really, what I'm going to be doing with the live streams again. You know, I've always been sort of experimenting with this. Uh, first, I was streaming on Twitch, and then, you know, stuff was happening with Twitch, all that drama and all the changes that were coming. You know, I thought, oh, uh, probably not going to be good for me to stream here in long term. From that point on but i'm starting to sort of see uh things with youtube as well while yes the potential is still there uh i just think there are features that i do miss of course uh very much so with twitch mainly the fact that the clips feature is such a like a key thing for me because i want to be able to highlight things easily keep them and then share them on social media. That's kind of like one of the main reasons why I would like to go back to Twitch solely just for that. And just like the practical sort of feel and such is very different in terms of like streaming itself. So when you start a stream, um, you have to do a thumbnail, you gotta like do, all, uh, do other stuff like that. And there's just other li little nuances that I just don't like about YouTube versus Twitch when it comes to just streaming itself. You know, the chat itself is a different different story. Not gonna get into that side of things, but from what I gather, you know, Twitch is still the number one experience when it comes to being in the chat. But as a streamer, when you're just going through the motions and stuff like that, just, you know, just stream and all that stuff, um, that's where it gets pretty different you know and it's something that you don't know until you do it yourself for instance whenever i lose connection and my stream just abruptly ends that link becomes just the vod not the live stream itself um, again if you stream on youtube uh, uh, it all makes sense to you but for, for who, those who haven't a little harder to understand but perhaps you can pick that pick um, pick on pick up on that, but your link isn't all like uniform or anything like that. It's not a, not a universal link to your stream. Whenever you end a stream, you have to give out a brand new link for your audience, right? If you put out a tweet, if you put out any social media alert or notification, you have to put out a new link to your current st live stream. So those those things like that, I do feel that are currently impractical um, at that. So again, whenever you lose a connection and you restart your stream, you have to give out the new link for everyone else that hasn't joined your stream yet. So you have to like go back to your twit, uh, tweet and update in the thread like, hey, this is a brand new link, boom. You know, that's something I've, uh, I've noticed whenever that situation happened. So like, I'm just, you know, like trying to weigh my options to see if it is better to stream on Twitch for right now and wait until YouTube gets better. Or should I just keep using YouTube to live stream and just hope for the best and see what sticks and stuff like that. Um, in my head in the past, it made more sense to stream on, or, or switch over to YouTube for a number of reasons. Um, why I did it in the first place is because I already have a YouTube partnership. I already have all the tools that you would have with a Twitch partner, right? You can have your emotes, you can have your subscription thing for people to support you with. Um, you can even, and on YouTube, you can even like control your prices. You can, you know, you, so I have mine at $4 instead of $5. That, that for, you know, that that's an example. You can kind of like, make it like a like a patreon type of thing you can like set up like rewards and stuff like that for those who like to put more money into it per month so you have a little more control in that department what you don't have control are the the length of ads while yes you can just insert ads um at your disposal in a way they're fixed it's such it's just one type of ad so i guess you just don't really know if it's like a skippable ad or an unskippable ad. You know, there's just a lot of things that um, kind of make me think about whether 
should I stream on here, on YouTube, or on Twitch? Go back to Twitch, doing what I've been doing, and hope for the best there as well. You know, um, going back to Twitch, I can kind of spread myself in a way to catch more eyes and be like, hey, check out my YouTube channel, you know, that sort of thing. But, you know, like, it, it, you know, as a YouTuber, you know, why not just double down on that and try to get eyes in general on YouTube, you know, as a whole. You know, that's why I've been kind of at this like crossroads once again. And uh, I thought, you know, streaming on YouTube would have been very refreshing, just straightforward. But there's just a number of nuances that you kind of have to sort of tolerate in order for you to stick it, uh, stick it out. So the fact that one, to, to uh, reiterate, whenever your stream in, uh, abruptly ends and you, ha and you restart it, that link no, is no longer valid, pretty much. So that, it, it, that itself is very annoying to me. Secondly, the clip feature is really not a true clip feature. It doesn't really make it into an actual one minute clip. Rather, it kind of just like, it's like a timestamp. It's like a glorified timestamp and it doesn't really feel like it's a highlight clip like it is on on Twitch. You can't even download it, you can't save it and re-upload it to another social media site. It's not really flexible. It just doesn't work the same way as a uh, the Twitch clip feature. So things like that I do really miss. It's, it's much more convenient and smoother to to go through the process of just you know the the typical cycle on on twitch you know getting motivated open up a obs hit that start stream button twitch you know with twitch you don't have to worry about a damn thing right and even if you do disconnect you can just reconnect on that same exact page link everything and and I just hope that your audience is still there to stick it out with you, you know? Wait patiently, blah, 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 hey, you know? But YouTube, they have to back out and uh, click on a different link, go back to the homepage, and then you have to go to that brand new link, like I said, so. Those things have been like kind of floating in my mind. Uh, so I don't want to completely abandon the YouTube channel, or the YouTube uh, streaming platform. Of course, I'm still gonna be uploading as regular, but when it comes to like the streaming stuff, I don't wanna abandon that completely. But at the same time, I, I you know, I kinda just don't wanna leave my Twitch behind either, right? I've, I've, I have like 700 followers and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I, feel like I feel like I should do something with that. But I've come to an, uh, to a conclusion for right now with an idea and that is to try to like kind of meet the uh sort of middle ground so what i'm gonna do is pretty much stream certain games um on whatever platform so <clears throat> whenever it's a brand new release and all that uh i'm gonna do it on twitch especially for games that pretty much like uh, have more likely to have highlighting moments. For example, if it's like Apex Legends or maybe Overwatch or something, that that is where I would like to use the clip, the Twitch clip feature, because it's so much more convenient. Now, when it comes to the the chill stuff like Gas Station Simulator, stuff that I know is not gonna really make highlighting moments. Uh, whenever I'm doing like a random Genshin Impact stream. Uh, I'm probably gonna just stream that on YouTube just to kind of like go back and forth with it sort of in a way, not try not to abandon one platform over the other and stuff like that. I think that's pretty much probably the best way to do it in a way. I don't know. This is, is all a part of an experiment to see how it goes. And if things don't really change and then, then that's that. But I think I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm gonna be sticking with until I see uh, what really sticks. So I'm gonna like jump back and forth with whatever game I have. So for example, with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, that's a new game, right? So I'm gonna be naturally 
uh, gonna go to Twitch because there might be some highlighting moments, right? On the spot. So that's why I would like to try and see uh, uh, to see if um, doing that on Twitch is, you know, really the best thing to do. Now, when it comes to like, you know, reaction streams and such like that, that one is a bit of a tricky one. Um, whenever I was streaming the Evo stuff on YouTube, I actually had some quite a bit of engagement and stuff like that. It was quite uh, more activity than usual, right? And so those things are probably going to be on YouTube. So I'm going to probably stick to that then. Uh, so yeah, you can see, definitely see those on, on YouTube than on um, Twitch. But again, when it comes to like shooting games, when it comes to just games that are more active or energetic, that sort of cre uh, are more likely to create highlighting moments. And then when it comes to the chill stuff, I'm going to be sticking to YouTube for that. Because of course, I don't really require the highlighting or clip uh, feature. Yeah, that's just kind of uh, the gist of things before I start to loop back and stuff like that, blabber on. I uh, just want to let you guys know uh, what my plan is for, for right now as of current. Uh, if you don't see me streaming on YouTube, that means I'm going to be streaming on Twitch again. So it'll uh, be a little weird, but yeah. Um, I forget, I forget, I forget to mention this too, as to why this all popped up to, uh, all of a sudden to go back to Twitch. And, and that's because I thought that like the ads were out of my control, but in a, in a way you still have control over your, your ads. So that's another reason why I was starting to reconsider. I jumped off the platform because I thought, oh, the ads are going to be super intrusive and I just don't want to be a part of that anymore, you know, as a streamer, but you still have control of your ads. I, uh, I, I believe so. Uh, which is why it's uh, I'm going to just go uh, go to that middle ground stream stream certain games on Twitch and stream other certain games on on YouTube. So um, some may see it as spreading too thin. You're you're right to think that, but that's just something I want to try and what I want to do. It's it's a again it's a bit of an experiment of mine and see what sticks. So okay, so now that's pretty much the gist of it. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in for this video. I know it's like kind of on the fly, so sorry if I'm kind of like stumbling on my, upon my words and stuff like that. Um, I am kind of busy as of this week because Pokemon is coming up and then I have work and then kind of try to fit in the Sonic review somehow in between all this stuff. So that's why I'm deciding to record this video in my car <laughs> as I'm getting ready for work or waiting for my shift to come up. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any comments or any feedback, I always welcome that for the channel. Always take consider of people's feedback. Take that into notes. Uh, leave it down in the comment section below. Love to read them. Um, and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. This is all helpful, I and mean, I really do appreciate you guys. So, um, so yeah, Pokemon Pokemon is coming up. So uh, I will stream that on Twitch. So likely on Friday, sometime evening time or late afternoon, I will be, I'll start streaming Pokemon Scarlet. So my journey will begin on Twitch. So that will be it. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Sean out.